Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. We have completed the first dungeon in the Dark World, and we have six more crystals to collect, each crystal containing one of the seven maidens sent to the Dark World by Aghanim. Before we took care of him for now. And as you can see, these crystals are spread pretty well throughout the Dark World. And number two is in the bottom center of the map, where we got one of the heart pieces early in the game. Now that, well, technically we've always been able to, but now we have even more of a reason to go and look around the Dark World even more. So because of that, that's what I'm going to do in this episode. I also need to remember to go to the Pond of Happiness. And see what, if I can get my bombs and arrows a little more numerous, I guess you could say. Just, get, just be able to carry more supplies. I need to find out what the limits are and then work from there. I could easily work with the limits that I have now, but it would definitely help to increase those limits for later on, just in case. For now though, I'm more concerned about exploring through the Dark World and seeing what we can do. We can't really do much to the south of the first palace, so we're not going over there. Matter of fact, I believe it's already been established in the previous video. I do want, however, want to collect more bombs just in case. So let's see here. Well, there is that area near where the fifth crystal is. Don't want to go there yet. It kind of helps to go in order, though you can kind of break the game a little bit. I do not exactly plan on doing that. And that just takes us straight to the fifth dungeon. Does that... Can we go over there at all? I'm going to see if we can go over there. Of course, we do want to be careful. We do have these things that are going to try to dive bomb us, or rather bomb us while we're in the water. And these orange things, we want to stay away from them because, well, unless we can fight them from a rather decent distance, because those things will try to take our shield away from us. And apparently we can go, go over here. If we want to risk getting ultimately... De this is where I got Quake, isn't it? E no. This is not where I got Quake. What is in here? Well, besides a alternate area where I can bomb, but we got a hand guy. Hey, I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. How about it? Let's give him the rupees. We've got some rupees to burn. <laughs> Thank you. To tell you the truth, I used to be a thief in the light world. Some of my fellow thieves went into hiding because they were afraid of being caught. One of them was a master locksmith, but now he is hiding the fact that he was a thief. By pretending to be a strange middle-aged guy. <laughs> and he refilled our health just by us talking to him. You can do that by, talk by talking to certain people. Anyway, we saw a place that we can bomb. It's a good thing I went here for a minute there. I thought this is where we got Quake, but nope, that's someplace else. And it's the fairy. So if we had we went there, we would have been able to do it a little bit sooner. Anyway, there's not much that we can do here from this point. And huh, there really is a green guy and a blue guy. I forgot all about that, to be honest. That there's two variants of the guy dropping bombs on you. But anyway, we want to make our way a little bit further. And you know what? 
I guess I will be able to. No, wait. Wait. Actually, yeah, I could. If anyone I was doing. Because we're near where the Pond of Happiness is in the Light World. And there's a certain place that we can stand and do a thing. And this place where all these stones are in our circle is exactly it. You want to stand in this little shallow spot, use the magic mirror, and you've got a piece of heart. And I believe that this does nothing. Now, if I were to use this right here, would I go into a wall? If you go into a wall, you basically get sent back to the Dark World in case you materialize inside a wall. The game does have that as a fail-safe of sorts. And you know what? I might as well go ahead and ca carry some more bombs just for the sake of well, refilling them a little more easily. And this time, we can throw either 25 or 50 rupees. I'll go ahead and throw the 50. And our luck is now good. So let's see if we can throw another 50. Let's throw another 50. Okay, let's go ahead and carry some more bombs. We can now carry 15 at maximum. So that's a good thing. I really need to look up what the limits are for like the maximum maximum that you can have. I'll let you know of my findings in the next video. For now though, I want to go back to the Dark World because there's more exploration than I want to do. And how much of it can I do in 20 minutes? Let's see here. If we go north from here, we should be able to, one, try to get away from this guy, and two, we should be able to find another way to get out of the water a little further north, if I can stop getting caught on the wall here. And this is where the bridge where we found that third magic bottle was in the light world. We can also go down there because we can pound the stakes. Yeah, if you see any stakes, the wooden ones in the light world or these purple ones in the dark world, you can hit them with the magic hammer. You could, it's a good thing that you can use the magic hammer for as much as you want. I mean, it should be pretty obvious by when you picked it up that it doesn't say watch your magic meter, which means it doesn't use magic. But in case it's not obvious enough, this doesn't use magic. Also, if we go to the west, we go to the bomb shop, which is where Ling's house is in the light world. One hundred rupees for thirty bombs. Thirty bombs for just one hundred rupees. Please buy a mister. Well, I could have done that, but well, I got a more bang for my buck at the Pond of Happiness. He will come into play a little later, though. Oh, and if we go south of where the bomb shop is, we go to where the second dungeon is. Also, this guy has eyes, and those eyes are following us. If we walk into him. We will knock a bomb out of his mouth. Wow, I haven't seen a normal person in a few hundred years. Let me talk to you for a while. I hear that using bombs is the best way to defeat the one-eyed giants. That's all I know. Huh, apparently they are weak against their own weapon. I think that was established though because apparently one of the one-eyed giants destroyed one of their own. And Huh, I forgot all about this guy. Quit bothering me, and watch where you're going when you dash around. You had a bomb in your mouth, and your eyes were following me. 
So some of the tree people are rude, but other ones will give you gameplay hints. And there is a thing that we can do if we go through here. Now, this, had you went over here in the light world, you wouldn't have been able to do much. In the dark world, however, you can actually do something that involves talking to this guy. After wandering into this world, I turn into this shape. I enjoy playing the flute in the original world. There is a small grove where many animals gathered. I want to see that place again. I buried my flute there with some flower seeds. Will you try to find it for me? Yeah, of course. And I will lend you my shovel. Good luck. You borrowed a shovel. You can dig in many places. You never know what you'll find. Now, I don't necessarily have to do it like this, but if I go one screen south, go to the light world. Now, you could have done this at any time after you got through Hyrule Castle. But I'm showing it off now. And wow, that soldier glitched like anything. But if you go over here in the light world, you'll see this guy playing his flute with animals being gathered around. If you approach, the animals run away and this guy disappears. Now, we got the shovel. We can equip it, press Y, and we can dig around for things. You can also use this to look for hearts and flower, not hearts and flowers, but hearts and rupees. I believe. And this is especially true in the Game Boy version. And apparently if you go into this corner, you'll be able to find the flute, which is it's an ocarina. Its mu music surely has some mysterious power. And apparently Link already knows how to play it. But, now that we have it, one, we can no longer use the shovel, which is painful. Though in the GBA version, you can switch between the ocarina and the shovel in the inventory, which is very nice. Thank you, Link, but it looks like I can't play my flute anymore. Please take it. If by chance you go to the village I lived in, please give it to a tired old man you will find there. Well, my mind is getting hazy. Please let me hear the sound of the flute one last time. Play the flute for him. You'll play it at normal speed. And he turned into a tree. If you go back here in the light world, the ghost of the boy, of the young man who played the flute, will no longer be there. Also, there is a thing that we can apparently do here if this circle of bushes is any indication. So let's go ahead, stand in this little circle here, and use the magic mirror to get to this cave we could not formally reach. Heart piece. Thankfully, all you need for this one really is the magic mirror. But, now that we have that taken care of, if we go over here, what does it lead us to? Well, this is the Dark World vil version of the village. There is an archery game. And if you're good at that, you can get a ton of rupees. I may show that off later on, in case I need a a couple rupees and I have a lot of arrows to play around with. 
And we can't really seem to go any further. Because those are dark rocks. We cannot lift those in any way, shape, or form. Which is a shame. Oh, we can do this. This is the treasure field game. The object is to dig as many holes as you can in 30 seconds. Any treasures you dig up will be yours to keep. It's only 80 rupees to play. And I'm going to go ahead and dig. Because you can get... Something really useful if you do this. And... Regardless of what item you have equipped with Y, you can press Y to use the shovel as long as you're playing this game. And wait for this guy to get out of the way. If you know what you're doing, and you're fortunate enough, and you're fast enough, you can recoup your money in no time at all. Also, any spots where there are rocks or d or bushes, you cannot dig under. So don't even try. And I thought I would be able to find a thing. There is a heart piece that you can get in this game, but it it's kind it comes up rather randomly. And you will have to play through the game a couple times in order to get it. And I will try to play through the game off screen with that commentary. I will record my progress at trying to get the heart. So that way you don't have to worry about me trying to do it for like one whole part. I'll just go to the part where I get the heart piece. Wow, I haven't seen a normal person in a few hundred years. Let me talk to you for a while. I once lived in the Lost Wood. Until the day I wandered into a magic transporter. The power of the Dark World quickly turned me into this tree shape. I guess the two forests are connected with each other. Quit bothering me. And watch where you're going when you dash around. So we got another... Mean one and another rude one. Does this take me to anything? This is not, and I was apparently too so close to the bus that I did that. Also, the... What was it? The bushes actually did not respond when I went back into the Dark World, which is rather interesting. Let's see what else I can do. Well, that would have led to Hyrule Castle, but not anymore. So there's not much that we can do here right now. The bridge is out. It doesn't seem like we can really go anywhere. Beyond... Yeah, we can't really go much of anywhere past the... Eastern half of the Dark World. So that's all the exploration that we can do for now. Which is kind of interesting. So this is all that we can do, as far as I'm aware. So, in the next video, because I might as well just go ahead and cut it early, we're going to go to where the second dungeon is, and we're going to do some things there, and hopefully get another treasure and hopefully get another crystal. I will have made sure that I gotten the treasure game finish and I will tell you about the limits for how the maximum maximum you can have for bombs and arrows so join me next time where I go to the second dungeon until then this is Prince Watercress take care stay safe and thanks for watching